We'll go up to another W2A4 video. Today I'm going to show you guys how you replace the interior door handle of your W204. I won't be showing you guys how to remove the door panel because I've already done numerous videos showing you how to remove the door panel. So just click on one of the videos in the top right hand corner right now and it will take you to a video showing you how I remove the door panel. Now my door handle isn't broken but I wanted to upgrade my door handles to these matte silver ones here as you can see right here these are matte silver door handles but also at the same time you're going to see how you go about repairing the door handle this is a common fault with the w204s where the inside of the door handle is prone to breakage and Basically, the only way to fix this is to replace the door handle itself. Now, this is also considered to be a heavier duty door handle. So I believe that it will last a lot longer than the typical ones. Now, it is still plastic, but it is a sturdier and heavier duty plastic door handle. And this is the kit that you get in order to fix your door handle. I bought the repair kit. What it comes with is a new plastic pivot tool and you also get the door handle and also 20 Phillips screwdrivers that have a washer. Now the reason why you get 20 screwdrivers is because in order to remove the door handle what you need to do is cut 20 melted tabs and once you cut the melted tabs the only way to re-secure it is either by melting it again or by using the screws that they supply. Now, if you're thinking that these screws aren't going to do the job, I can guarantee you now that they definitely do work and the end result with these screws is just as good as it was before. Just to give you guys a brief rundown, what you need to do is basically unplug your electrical connectors and also unplug the ambient light for the door handle. Remove five of the aluminium 10 mil nuts and also two T10 torque screws and also you're going to need to use a set of wire cutters or pliers that will allow you to cut close to plastic without cutting everything in my case i used a trim clip removal tool it allowed me to cut flush with the plastic and therefore i was able to cut the melted tabs off really easily now i'm going to leave links in the description of everything that i used in this video so if you want to do this fix be sure to check out my links and it will take you to the items that I used and that's basically it guys so as you can see here I've already replaced my door handle on this door panel I wanted to show you guys that this is the end result it looks just as good as it did before it works really well no problems at all so I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you need to do in order to remove this door handle and replace it with a newer door handle. Here is our door frame. We'll remove the 10 mil aluminum nuts and then we'll remove two T10 torque screws and then we will begin to cut these plastic tabs off. Let's just get into it. Let's unplug the plugs that we need to unplug first. Get a pick tool, like I always say guys, you really need to get yourself a set of pick tools because they really are a great tool to use. I use it for all my DIYs because they really come in handy. Let's just remove these five aluminium 10 mil nuts. It's two, three, four, five. Take them out. Three, four, five. The trim piece will now just drop out. Push it out. That releases our trim piece. It also releases the trim around our buttons. As you can see right here, the one aluminium nut on this side releases this entire piece. So make sure you unplug everything. Disconnect the LED light here. There we go. Let's remove the two T10 screws here. Now, if they could use T10 screws here, why couldn't they just use screws all on these plastic tabs here as well? Mercedes have to be difficult and they just gotta do what they gotta do, eh? This is the tool that I'm using in order to cut it off. If you're gonna try and melt these, you're probably going to damage this as well. So 
you know I figured it's probably easy to just cut it off all you do is just put it underneath and cut it that's it do the same to the other side and cut repeat that for every single one now you only want to cut off the plastic tab and leave the center because that's where your screw is going to go in in order to secure it later I'm just checking that I have cut it properly and it will separate after I uh, pry it apart okay so we can see that it does pry apart here very good all right so as you can see it is now separated I've never done this before guys this is my first time so wish me luck you also have to cut off these two rectangular tabs here as well they are also melted on it and after that you also have to cut these two circular ones here as well once you do that you will be able to remove the center piece with the door handle from the door panel itself I'm gonna show you guys how to do that now. All right, so you lift this one up, you separate it. It's also a good idea to remove your orange ambient light. Be very careful how you remove this because as you can see here, I have already broken mine. See, it's already been broken off. Okay, so that sits in like this. In order to remove this, you have two clips here. You take it out from here, pry these clips back, take it out of here, you take it out of here as well and then in order to remove it from here it's clipped in via two clips in here you just have to pry it out like that that's how you remove this clip I accidentally broke mine that's all right I'm just going to glue it back together and it should go back together okay but don't make the same mistake I did that's also why I do these videos as well so you guys don't make the same errors that I make I am no professional I simply DIY I teach myself how to do things and I do make mistakes along the way and you know that's okay I'm only human after all once you pry this apart you will be able to remove it easily because it's just sitting in here now to remove it you lift this one up and you'll see where it's um, connected in so I showed you guys that there is a push clip here see that clips over the top release that lift it up it will separate and then you'll see a tab here and a tab here push down on that and then you have to reach from the bottom here and separate this piece here see how I'm pulling this down and see how you can see it going down now you can lift push this down and pull it out and now this piece comes out there you go and that's how you remove this piece and now that we have this out in order to release the door handle we need to take out this pivot screw I like to make a little dent in it with a screw and then drill a tiny little hole in it so we can start it off and then use a screw to pull it out right. now we'll grab our screw because we started it off we can get our screw in put it in there Screw it into it, couple of threads, and now I'm able to pull it out like so. There we go. That's the only way you're going to get it out, and it's the easiest way to get it out as well. So that's what you want to do, guys. Now, this door handle will come out. We have to transfer this plastic clip over to our new door handle. And even if you accidentally break this, you can always replace it. There we go. You just push it in together and push it and it comes right out okay so we get our door handle in make sure it's installed the right way like so and we know that this has to install onto the top here like so just push it on through now we grab our pivot for the door handle and we push it on in from the bottom right here push it in and it should lock it in and clip in you just push it on in there we go and it's in now yep it's all the way in and it's even clipped in so it can't even come out now so there you go guys that's how you change over your door handle for your w204
Now to reinstall this, all you have to do is make sure you tuck it back in and everything lines up as it should. You separate the top piece, but also push down on this bottom piece here to give you room to install this back inside because you need to get this inside here and you need to get these holes over these tabs. All right, we'll get that in there. There we go. And then make sure this tab comes up here and these two come through the top. Ensure all these other tabs line up. So you lift it up over it like that and now we're back in and that's how we should go back in guys what i meant before was separate this piece and then push down here so you can get it in because this piece sits in between these two pieces you just have to use these screws and screw everything back in and that will hold it back together again so let's grab our screws and we'll screw everything in If you don't see that there is a hole for your screw, I just get a drill and drill a little hole, not too much, just a little hole, so that the screw can go back into it. If you drill too far, you're gonna go through the leather, so you don't wanna do that. See how easily the screw goes in now? Seems all these ones don't have a hole, so I'm just gonna make a little hole in them, so we can put a screw in. Once you have put all the screws in, it should look pretty flush. Just check it out. We'll have a look here. Make sure everything does look as it once did. Okay, no loose parts. Everything is back together real nice. Okay, so it's going to be dirty here. So I'm just going to wipe this off, get it all clean. All I like to use is basically just water. You know, I don't like to use any chemicals because if you use chemicals, your interior can actually start to deteriorate. So you don't want that. I want to make sure it's nice and clean. So I'm going to get my air blower and I'm going to blow it all out so that it's nice and clean. Well, there you have it guys how to successfully replace the interior door handle of your mercedes-benz w204 now this also applies to other mercedes-benz models as well so if your mercedes-benz has the same door handle as this and it works the same way then this fix is going to be for your car as well so if you found this video helpful like share comment subscribe ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads until next time this is mike with mikey's vlogs signing off See you in the next one, guys.